Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be streaming Red Dead Redemption 2. Chapter 3. And our little saga that we got going on. It's actually the 5th chapter, but we won't talk about that. I spent way too many chapters. Way too many days. Getting this damn horse in front of me. But she's worth it. The horse is worth it. Um, it's the best horse in the game, in my opinion. So, I always go out of my way to get said horse. The second chapter was us getting all the gold bars and then selling said gold bars. Now the third chapter is going to be me making myself pretty. And buying as all the upgrades I can for the um, camp. As well as upgrading all my weapons to where they're not absolute shit. It's going to be fun for me and you. More me than you, I, I'm guessing. But who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Ooh, a stranger and freak. Oh, this guy. I know this guy. Hey there, friend. Come. Stop on by for a moment. The name's William. Arthur. You familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. All this help, you deserve something in return. This can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. All right. Oh. Back on topic. <laughs> I 
This is a beautiful game, though. I must say. The experiment left. OMG, Becky. Not there. All right. I'll go to town with old uncle. Hey! Oh. Careful not to work yourself to death there, uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> you gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Sure, you'll see. Real civilized. <laughs> Let's go. All right, you know the way? Yeah, me and the boys got into a bit of a fight at the saloon there. <laughs> Already? Oh, so all that talk about how hard you've been working. You've been drinking. <laughs> Lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really. You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? I'd really appreciate the help. I I'm worried. This one here will fall down me, too, if I leave him. Easy there. Yeah. 
He'll be all right. Oi. Look at me doing the nice guy thing. Gentlemen, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You yeah, think we should have I never want to go back into the mountains. Oh, no. <clears throat> Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. See what we got here. You wanted sunset photos in Florida? Who turned the lights out? Go left here, down the main street. Do you live close There's enough to the, the beach right. to take some now? Or you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. <laughs> no. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place, huh? Come on. Afternoon. So, 
What do you need? A drop of whiskey for a start. Well, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Yeah. Reckon I should probably steer clear of the saloon this time. Why don't you pick out a cigar? A cigar always focuses the mind, I find. What are you saying? Well, you seem a little scattered, Arthur. Trust old uncle. Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. All Let's right. On the top shelf, nearest the door. We're gonna... Wait. Hey, you the fella who had the fight with Tommy outside the saloon? Yeah, We're gonna make my guy prettier. Got a little out of hand, but I didn't swing first. <laughs> sure. Cheese, all right. Uh, shotgun coated is we're going to go red. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside and change the sharp. Opulent Vest Fancy Pants Don't like those boots. Those are gross boots. Let's try these boots.
They're gonna sell some things. Don't need coffee. Horse revolver's always a good thing. Ammunition. Alright, ladies. What do y'all think? Of the new and improved Arthur Morgan. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. I thought I would. You, you can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. I've been a I swear, every time Get I your hands off mm -hmm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? See you later. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Come on, ladies. This sirloin will put a smile on your man's face. Guarantee. Full belly. Yeah. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid 20s, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No. In trouble now, please. If you walk into this dude's room, he's shitting his brains out. Oh, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. Wrong room. <laughs> hey! Hey you! A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! I paid the waste of my time. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. 
You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing... Nothing to worry about, just... Men, but... Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock oh, town. Uh, There's okay lots of cash there. sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Just borrowing it. Now, this scene, you can let him fall, or you can uh, help him. Now, there's a theory that this man is a morality test from the game, like from death, basically. So, since he has such an impact on your morality, um, I'm going to go ahead and save him. Unless you guys want to go full bad. Please! I can't get up! Why are you telling lies about me? No, no! I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now, please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. I can't hold. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. <clears throat> Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. 
Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Let's go, girl. Yep. I'm going to go return this dude's horse and buy some guns. friend oh you really were just borrowing it appreciate it uh, watch yourself well now I was wondering when you'd be back gotta make it before the fucking gun store closes Yeah. All right. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that, as far as I can see. I bet this will shoot better with some new sights. Boom. Rifling. That's more like it. All right. My viewers, which is at the moment, it just looks like uh, Avery. How's it, church? So, Avery, you are the deciding factor. No tie break or vote from me. Now, what kind of... Well, it doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. Style do I want the metal to be? I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some Gold? engraving. Silver. Brass. Brown steel. Blackened steel. Blue steel. Nickel. Or iron. Normally, I do silver or gold. What do you think? It does seem strange to me that they'd need so many guards of Cornwall, kerosene, and tar. Must be something else going on there. Black. Okay. Engravings. Now, we can do engravings of silver or gold. Now, if we did silver, we could also do on the components, the grip. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, a triggers, parts, back here. Grip, or we can even do an ebony grip. While you're driving, I will buy the other guns that I can buy. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? <sighs> yep. 
People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Well, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? I was gonna say, the game better not fucking froze. Volcanic pistol, bot. Vomit rifle, bot. Springfield rifle. Upgraded bandolier. Upgraded holster. Upgraded gun belt. I buy everything that I can buy. That should be good. I'll do you all the keep components. Keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. How about you get some new sights for this, huh? You'll be very pleased with this. Yeah, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. Thought about upgrading the stock? I got some nice ones. Smart addition. Dangerous. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. I bet this will shoot better with some new sights. Yeah, I bet you do think that. Essential, I reckon. That's great. Yeah, beautiful condition. Keep it up. How about you get some new sights for this, huh? Smart addition. Dangerous. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. I sold my old blunderbuss to a bounty hunter last week. <laughs> that boy's out looking to get someone, that's for sure.
Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. condition keep it up varnish you keep treating that like your own child all right good on you Varnish. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Treating that Leather. like your own child, all right? Black Good on you. Steel, black and steel, black and steel, black and steel, black and steel. Leather, chocolate, varnish, dark walnut. Beautiful condition. Keep it up. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt. Your pick. Okay, days. Now we're at the part of the engraving. So, chat, what should my what should my engraving be? Should it be baroque? Could go for some poker. Perhaps you could join me later in Smithfield. Art nuevo. Art nueve. Nuevo. Victorian. Or 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 ornamental. Jacob Worth is a friend of mine. I admire him, but he's just about the worst poker player in all of Valentine. Baroque. Art Nuevo. Nueve. I don't speak French. Victorian. Ornamental. The more bounty posters that go up, the more people flock to my shop. 
Plenty of reason for that, Valentine. This one? Second one it is. Now carving on the handle. Rattlesnake, scorpion. I'm a Valentine Puma. connect in the west to the east. They got a lot of passing folks stocking up on Eagle. bullets and weapons. Buck. Some of them may belong to a gang. I normally I do know? the scorpion. Or the snake. Eagle or buck? Deer. Wait, this is a pistol. This isn't a rifle. Like, you guys, you ladies know that, right? I'm a bandito. It's not supposed to be cute. I'm going to override both of you and go with the scorpion. Sigh, boo-boos. Boring little circle thing? No. 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 Now, the engravings could have also been in gold. If it weren't for all gold. the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. But then the handle would have been ebony. That's why I picked silver. All right. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Alright, engravings. This is the second one. This is the same style that you guys picked with the pistol. Any information about anything, anything at all, you can give me a shout. It's beautiful condition. Keep it up. Engravings. Carvings. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. It's 
Beautiful condition. Keep it up. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. What do the all all the carvings on different guns this is my knife now this one I will give you guys a choice on silver or gold What do you think, Avery? If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. So, always. Yeah, but... This is a community choice, not a cat choice. And Hal is at church. Jacob Worth is a friend of mine. Places. I admire him, but he's just about the worst poker player in all of Valentine. So, Hovoit is just gonzo. Gold. I normally do gold. I like gold. I also, a lot of the time, will do more bounty posters. Silver. To go up, the more people flock to my shop. And then I'll do any reason for that. Valentine. A black inlay. But if I do black, it's normally with gold. All right. Old Crawford at Carmody Dell had a wagon stolen from his barn. Oh, did he? I didn't Made know. Sure it was his to start with, mind you. So long. Step right up, Valentine. Step right up. I oh, can't buy anything from him. Oh. This is what the inlays. Oh no, not doing that. Pistols. Pistols are white. And, but metal. No nope. engravings. This is the inlay for gold. I just think that looks better.
Now here's what this looks like. I don't like that look, that ebony look. Uh, the pistols with the with the ivory pistol grips are going to have the silver inlay. Dude's armed to the teeth. Well, look at here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So... What is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. Filler over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Not again. Alive. I got it. My horse is all the way at camp. downhill? Is it downhill? No, it's not that one. Not yet. When I started the mission, um, we left camp on a uh, bug, um, a wagon, and my horse was left at camp. I forgot to hit the follow button, so my horse is safely at camp. I'm too far to whistle range. Damn.
Let's go, girl. Is that your blood? Go get this bounty. Exactly. Halfway up to the freaking cold. Benedict Albright. Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard him. I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case, for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. Taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. There's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. That I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. No. Oh, you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life! What? Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump! Or oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me! Oh. Please. I'll take my chance. Come in! Uh, bye, friend! I really do not like you. Yeah. Oh, shit. 
I don't have a way to fence horses. I don't think. I don't know if I can sell horses that I've taken off a body to the stables. I don't think I can. Because there's a horse fence in the game. seem to keep blacking out. <laughs> No, I never got that either, Avery. Expecting you back so soon, uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was. Uh, uh, he's leaving. trying to get in our so, pants. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. Shut up, partner. But I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. 
You ain't much of a man. You ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sir, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Uh, please, remember what I told you. Now we're going back to camp, seeing if I can upgrade it yet. I don't remember when you can start upgrading the camp. Um, it's here. I can upgrade it while in Valentine. I just don't remember the crests I have to do to unlock it. Once we can do that, I'm going to upgrade it fully. But if I can't upgrade it, I'm going to upgrade it. If I can't, I'm going to end the stream because we have the pre-production, podcast pre-production that is about to take place right now it's for everybody but as soon as I'm able to it will be for sub subscribers only too serious. I need you to help Herr Strauss. I've been working hard, Dutch. I know. And I know Strauss's business is not too glamorous, but it pays. Please, son, for me. Okay. Let's see how she's doing. She's fit. So I'm feeding all good. We have a bonding level of two out of four. Health. It's good. Stamina is good. Cleanliness is good. Mood is calm. Still gotta upgrade my uh, horse tack, but we would do that. Hey, farther! What you want? <laughs> One sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. <laughs> Only when I see you. <laughs> Hey, Pearson. We could really use some more meat, Mr. Morgan. Not the best quality, but some seasoning will hide it. Very good. We were getting low. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan.
Might be able to upgrade my thing after the first Air Strauss mission. Though I don't like doing that. And you will find out why I don't like those missions later on. Beatrix Morgan, Spring Rocks, 1870. Arthur Morgan's mommy. Demon's back. This is Mary Linton. Homeboy's true love that got away. Jose, a Dutch author. Arthur's father. Arthur's dog. Saving it. And then hit getting in to the next part of the night. All right. Yes. And that will do it for the Red Dead Redemption 2 stream. Um, our Discord is in my bio below. Check us out. We're a pretty fun little community where we constantly make fun of experiment all the time. <laughs> 